Meet the secretive rich funding efforts to keep others poor. This is, this is pretty amazing, you know, when you think about it. Um, in the United States, since Reagan imposed neoliberalism on our country, and I, I wrote an entire book about this, The Hidden History of Neoliberalism, and how Reaganomics gutted American, America's middle class. Since Reagan threw us into neoliberalism, what we have seen is a steady increase in the wealth of the top 1% of Americans and a steady decrease in the wealth, resources, uh, income, all of the above, of the bottom 80% of us, or maybe 90% of us. I mean, it's bouncing up now thanks to a lot of things that Joe Biden is doing. Uh, you know, the, the wealth is actually on the, on the low end of the scale is actually going up pretty fast, but still the billionaires are getting richer and the multimillionaires and the millionaires are getting richer and richer every single day. And along with that, the poor are getting poorer. We're seeing homelessness like we've never seen before in this country. I mean, uh, maybe we saw this kind of level of homelessness during the Republican Great Depression in the 1930s, but I doubt it was even that serious then. People took people into their homes, you know, people, people made it through. But now, so, so in an effort to do something about this, a number of cities and, and towns have experimented with universal basic income, which is basically where, you know, you, you give poor people a certain amount of cash, typically $500 to $2,000 a month, with no strings attached, and just, you know, let them let them work out their life. And what, we, what the research has found is that in the vast majority of cases, I mean, yes, there's a, the occasional person who just uses it to go out and buy cocaine. But the vast majority of cases, people are using this money to stabilize their living situation, to pay their rent, to, to buy more nutritious food, to uh, help educate their kids, to buy books and, and you know, things like that. They become more involved in their community. I mean, it's just a healthy thing. But there is this group of very rich individuals, I call them morbidly rich individuals, who are hell-bent for leather on saying, we should never give free money to anybody. I don't care how poor they are, because that money comes from me, the rich individuals, and the rich individuals do not want the poor people to be getting their money. I mean, it's really that simple. This is just greed. Uh, very anti-Christian greed on steroids. In February, lawmakers in Arizona, home to the nation's fourth largest homeless rate, this is uh, from Sam Pisagotti over at Common Dreams, by the way, uh, passed a bill that bans, quote, any program where persons are provided with regular periodic cash payments they can use for any purpose, end quote. You get this? Republicans in Arizona passed you know, push legislation through. Now, I, I believe they've got a Democratic governor there now, um, so I doubt it's going to go into law. But in Iowa, one GOP state legislator is calling such basic income efforts socialism on steroids, Sam writes. The sponsor of another move to ban basic income, South Dakota's John Wick, is charging that basic income plans amount to, quote, a one-way ticket to government dependency. In February, lawmakers in Arizona, home, uh, you know, I, I already mentioned that, um, as of the end of February, lawmakers in four other states had introduced bills with similar bans. And so, you know, he asked, Sam asked the question, who's driving or, yeah, who's driving this nationally coordinated move to end experiments in basic income? These wealthy people have been bankrolling an outfit that calls itself the Foundation for Government Accountability. And it is, according to this report, quote, a lobbying group with a billionaire-fueled junk science record every American should know about, end quote. And among the founders' prime funders, the hard-right billionaires Richard and Liz Ulean, the nation's fourth largest contributors to political campaigns. So other major government for accountability funders include assorted deep-pocketed entities with a history, uh, notes Climate Investigation Center Director uh, Ken Davies of hating regulation and trying to stop any progress on things like climate change because they see it as almost a step toward communism. Right. I, you know, you would think that when people get rich, I mean really rich, like the Uleans are billionaires, that they might have a little compassion for the rest of us. 
but it seems like it goes the opposite direction. It's it's the Beamer effect, you know, that the, the, the more expensive the car, the more likely the driver is to, to behave badly in traffic. It seems to cross all different sectors of behavior.